Hey guys, I'm Mama Bear to Benny, and on this day, we are going to see some exciting things on a homestead. I know a lot of people have homesteading channels, and you get to see little tidbits of, of what they do homesteading. Um, a lot of times, I see a lot of homesteaders that just have like a quarter acre, half an acre, or something like that. Our goal on our homestead is to grow as much food as possible, and that means birth of animals, which is exciting. So we're going to go through a lot of that today and just what we're doing around our homestead. So I am Mama Bear Domeni. I have 14 children. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are back, I love seeing you guys. I really do. All right, so let's see what we're doing today. Really freak me out every time you stand up. Please just be still. Ask me for it, I can move it. Just jump out. Oh, she's she's redoing her shit. I just. I might pass her that one. Okay. Once she's back down, I'll stop her now. And then I'll talk about that. Okay. So we're in there helping mama with the babies, delivering piglets. We were thinking that she was going to have a big litter, which you'll see if she did or didn't. How many do you think she's going to have? Um, so anyhow, we were in there and then we're hearing this clanging and I'm like, I, it sounds like somebody's at the gate. And so I had the kids look at, look out, see who was at the gate and whatever. And I will show you what we saw. It's like Winnie the Pooh. Remember that story? Or Winnie the Pooh like tries to go in the stupid. He like eats so much food and he can't get out.
Okay, girl. Not too bad. Two girls and a boy so far. I think so. When he flipped it, looked it and uh, I didn't go up to look them. There she goes. She's free. She's free. So he got himself back through it. Now he's like outside over there and which is outside of the fence because he completely tore through all the fence. And my son is bringing the round baler out here. I'm going to open this gate in one second so he can get through this gate that I'm standing in front of and then we'll fix the fence and try to get him back in. All right. So now working on getting him back in the pen. So I'm gonna fix this. We had to pull this electric fence right here back and then I'll go back to go see where we're at with the piglets. Look at that piggy just born. 
She's got a little heart on her. Might have to keep her. She's a little cutie. See the heart spot. Over in the other pen, mom came in here, so all the piglets are excited that it's nursing time. I know, they're getting kind of big, huh? see what's going on. <laughs> new arrival, new arrival. Announcement. Brother, you have another bottle. <laughs> yep. So these two are boys. This side, grab that other one and put it over this side. Get to the heat lamp, huh? or you want a mama? Mm. I know it's warmer over here. Isn't it? Huh? Can you tell where I'm at? I said. Can you hear like the baby? Mm -hmm. Seven piglets so far. Nine. Nine, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> One of the females has like a, uh, it's all pink with like a okay. black heart on her back. So, just a side note here. This is usually kind of what happens to me. I'm stuck so in the mud. We might actually be having, I don't know. Her teats are wrinkly. She was, okay, last year she gave her first calf. See her butt right there, it's all drippy. Um, 
And so we think, I really think that she's probably in labor. Um, so, you know, we were prepared for this and then we started doing some projects around the homestead and now we're not as prepared as we were before because now the fence that where she would go is three foot high. So we're just going to try to run her tonight up to the building. Uh, I don't want her in the calf down here because it's a little more muddy. Um, so we're going to run her up to the building tonight and hopefully she'll just be good there tonight and not jump the three foot fence and then we'll put up new fence in the morning. She is up here now, so we shall see how it works. Gave her some apple. She was all excited about that. Definitely looking drippy. I'm hopeful. See the fence here. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm trying to use my headlamp. This fence is only three feet high. And then the fence, whoa, out back further down there is um, the tall fence to go into the cow paddock itself so like I don't know if you can see his eyes the bull is right there the bull that had you know the crazy day getting lock himself locked up and all okay so this is the area you probably guys couldn't remember seeing it I should have done it this morning as well but I had a bunch of stuff going on but last night I explained how the we thought that the cow was in labor and she was not in labor because she today is just kind of hanging out but she's still kind of dripping from her butt so um <clears throat> we are going to we took one two three posts four posts here and if you remember this is our garden from last year that's why the fence was so short before um and then we had this section like kind of a just a runway to come up in here. Years ago, we had a big section here for the cows. That was our original fence. Um, and I like it up here because you can see how dry the ground is up here compared to like down there, it gets really muddy. Um, so there's sections throughout that bat paddock that isn't so muddy, but I don't want a calf down there. I just don't think that it's safe. So um, what we're planning on doing is we got cement today, cemented that one. And then this corner and then down there are all cemented. So we're going to run this fence here double high. And then I won't have enough of that fence. And I don't honestly have the funds to do that either. Um, but I do have some fence down there. So this field fence right here is going to go along here. There will be two more poles um, dug there but those will not be cemented so it's just one two three got cemented she did those two here and then we'll get two more over there some of us had to leave today so it was pretty much one girl doing it by herself um so she did great today and then um we'll take that fence and put it on the bottom down here and then put the field fence on top we should have enough to do that and then this gate here that's on the ground will actually be from this i'm gonna go that way over to the building that's um the ex that's how far it goes there and then what we did here it was getting muddy here you know you can't see it now but what we did under here to help the amount of mud and stuff is we actually buried big boulders and logs like that in this right here because this is the area that tends to get really mucky really fast um because they're in and out the building and that type of stuff so we're hoping that that will cut down on some of it eventually i'd like to build up this area with gravel a little bit um but i don't know i just don't even know it's always a work in progress if you are a working homestead you probably know it is a work in progress always no fancy buildings here um so we built this oh 12 years ago i think like 12 years ago and then we recently two years ago did this so we got the tractor trailer, we paid for the tractor trailer. Originally we were using square bales and we had all the hay in there. Um, and then we built, we bought all this roofing brand new, but it's all on logs. So we need to work on doing the sides up and all that fun stuff. So that's a work in progress. But um, if there's moms and babies, we still are using 
this old barn which works um great i think it works great we had got like a huge um i don't know not pallet but somebody had ordered the wrong thing up at the um up at the store and so they were selling it for really cheap so we ended up getting a lot of these cedar plank type things and we use that for this so basically if we have a cow and milk they would come up through this chute and then they would get milked here obviously nobody's in milk right now this is dirty this would get cleaned out if somebody was in milk um so they all their their food and hay would get thrown in there we would have grain we don't only grain our animals if they're actually in milk um or we only grain our cow if they're in milk so um that and that are all um would all be their feed and then they'd come in here and they'd get milked and then somebody would sit over here and they would get hand milked and this is the gate that would open towards like where i'm standing but this right here is where she would give birth and over over here currently we have some um we have the sheep that are going to be butchered, but this is just a pen that usually gets used for um, smaller animals. But sometimes we might put um, a calf or something like that over there as well. What are you doing, Miss Maple? Are you waiting for the cement to dry before you give us a calf? Is that what's going on? you think so too okay so what we have right now is she's just tethered off to well now she wrapped herself around that pole but she was tethered off this morning we're getting ready to move her um to this this morning and we were watching her like throughout the day while they were working on that project over there and so she actually ate a bunch of this down we don't have too much green anymore here but we do have some um and she was able to do that oops yeah, I was looking on where I was going to put her next and took you guys along with me. So she still has stuff coming out of her butt a little bit. Not so much. I don't really know what's going on with her. But we need a plan for her for the night. We're going to go think about that. So we've come to a conclusion. We are going to, for the night, we are going to take miss maple and she is going to go in here so what we have created here is we are creating a pathway here which didn't used to be here um so that we can bring the tractor with the round bales over here and drop them over here for the sheep we can't go around the house because um we'd be driving on the leech field so she is going to be here for the night normally so my daughter this sheep pen is here i'm trying to block the sun with my hand is over there so you can see the door i don't know if you can see it or not i can't see it the door is there and that whole area over there is for the sheep so um she's actually worked on and made let me see if i move this way a little bit if you can see can you see the pallets like going up so that's going to be a temporary shoot kind of for them this um, winter so that they can come up there and get to the hay right here. And then my husband can just drop round bales over the top like this. And that will work this way until um, that will work this way until we start lambing in the spring and then we'll divide people out but that will help us out a lot during the winter um to be able to use the tractor to move the round bales she's excited about her new home for the moment so she's still drippy and we decided that we really i'm stuck oh, that we didn't really want to have her out with the bowl still so we're just going to have her over here for the night um, and then the sheep are down in their pen they have been eating all day and then we will be swapping out again tomorrow morning probably what we'll do is we'll put maple on some grass and then she'll be having grass and then the sheep will have their hay back up here
We're trying to get it so that we're not using any electric fence because once it gets cold, things get frozen in the ground. And yeah, it's winter in Maine.